Hey guys, Logan here for Masters of Brick Jitsu, and today we're going to be taking a look at how you can make an underwater photo without actually using any water. For this project, we're going to be using these three images, and we're going to go ahead and take our first image and drop it over into Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, that's fine. There are a couple free alternatives that I'm going to be putting up on screen now. To start, we're going to be using a tool known as the Magnetic Lasso. This tool auto-detects edges as we drag around the target and clamps to them so we can create a mask that hides the background rather than erases it, so we have a pseudo-barrier containing anything we do to the figure. Now that we have masked around the figure, we're going to create a color that matches the gunmetal gray, and then use a soft round pressure opacity brush with the opacity turned down to about 35, and paint over the parts of the figure reflecting light, like the lower legs and the shoulder pad. After painting all the gunmetal gray parts of the figure, we will then repeat this step with all the other colors, like the blue in the belt and sash, the black of her hair, and we'll even add a touch of blue to the hairband for fun. We're now going to turn the opacity of our brush back up and color the pupils of the figure a brighter white so they pop a little bit better. Noticing we still have a few glares and blemishes on the figure, we're going to use a tool called the Spot Healing Brush which clones pixels around it to essentially erase blemishes. Now that we have a good looking figure, it's time for a good looking background. Going to Google I was able to find this nice soothing underwater photo, and after using our Spot Healing Brush from earlier to remove the whales in the back, and moving it slayer underneath our figure, it's ready too. It's now time to put our little dolphin friend into the photo. To do this, we're going to place and bed the photo, then we'll redo most of what we did for the figure by using our magnetic lasso tool to isolate it, then using a soft round pressure opacity brush with an opacity of around 35 to get rid of the glares, then adding a brighter pupil. Finally, we're going to flip this image horizontally to place it better in the photo. Since our first dolphin needs a friend, we're going to place and bed our second dolphin, and redo the exact same steps we did with the first, with the only difference being that we're going to drag this one's layer below our figure to add depth in the photo. Once we have both dolphins placed where we'd like, we're going to add a motion blur to give them the illusion of movement. Next we are going to duplicate the figure layer and add a motion blur to the figure layer on top. Then we'll use a soft round pressure eraser brush to erase parts of the blur layer so assets like the face and torso are still sharp on the figure. To continue our illusion of movement, we're now going to place and bed some bubbles from Google, and using our layer styles settings, we'll blend mode them with screen, essentially hiding the black. Next we will turn, move, squash, and stretch these in order to get them where we'd like in the photo. After this, we're going to copy and paste this layer so each moving asset in the photo shows movement. Now we are going to create a lighter blue color, and using a soft round pressure brush with a lower opacity of around 35, we will paint over our two dolphin layers and our figure copy layer. We'll ignore our original figure layer for now. Now quickly we're going to go to our background layer and create a Gaugasian blur. Next, using our soft round pressure brush, we will use a white on low opacity and go over the tops of our two dolphins and figure copy layer. Then we will use a black and go on the underside of these layers. This will create our light source, because as it gets deeper, it gets darker. And with that final step completed, we are done! If you guys like what you see, feel free to leave a like, and also check out my Instagram page, underscore brick, underscore dude, underscore, where I post all kinds of LEGO Ninjago related posts and edits. And if you're not already subscribed to Masters of Brick Jitsu, what are you doing? Click on that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching!